Hey guys, today I have three balloon decks. One is meta and two are odd but satisfying. Stay tuned and let's get into the episode. Hey guys, it's the Mindstormer. I'm back for another day, another episode. Do that instead of the log. There we go. Okay, I'm going to leave the crown chest for later. I'm going to go ahead and just open up this chest first. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the first battle of the day. So the, those three chests I will open gradually as we win battles. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And good luck and smiley face. So... Um... I did do one battle before this, but the person quit on me and I forgot the right spell, so that's all nice. But that's okay, we now got the right stuff in here. <laughs> so this is going to work a lot better than it did before. And I'm going to rage this. This is a very threatening combo and nothing <laughs> really stops this. So this is a deck that is played in the meta a lot right now. So. That's the reason why it's already took out a tower. It's because it's a really good deck. And I can't say diddly squat about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do wizard there. I did overflow an elixir there. I misplaced that tornado. Oh well. That's all good. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and place a Valkyrie right here. I don't know what he's doing right now. He was placed skeletons in front of my wizard, which does nothing. <laughs> so that wizard is going to finish him off if he doesn't do anything else. And he did place something else, but it's not going to be worth it. <laughs> I just rage nothing. Of course. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and baby dragon there just to take out the cannon and the ice spirit, apparently. I mean, that's even Alexa trade right there. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and just start taking out the tower slowly but surely and i did not mean to place the valkyrie but that's okay because we're going to say good game well played good luck and smiley face yeah that was me eh. people let me win i don't like that so yeah oh well i guess so we are going to go ahead and 142 gold two goblin hut 16 wrath skulls looking pretty good and we do have a gold reward. I will open up that one. Or 2,750 gold. Looking pretty snazzy. Okay. So, with the next deck... Oh, I should probably upgrade this too. <laughs> okay. So, that's level 8 balloon. So, we got this next deck. This is a lot of splash in this deck. And I figure it's going to be pretty good. And I didn't put the tornado in this one. I probably should have. But I decided to use arrows. Because I figure I'm just going to be countering everything that's going to okay there um yeah i'm just gonna be countering everything with this deck that was kind of the goal it's a lot of ranged units which is okay so i'm just gonna do that and with the archer tower i think the musketeer is still alive plenty fine and he places the elixir golem right into my musketeer so this is a big mistake i've been seeing a lot in these lower arenas don't place your elixir golem whenever you think it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it looks like I'm playing against a lot of noobs today, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, what are the, what is Clash Royale without beating a couple noobs, so. <laughs> uh, sorry guys. So, if I can't find some more heart tougher battles we'll, we'll see we'll see how many battles we can beat but i'm gonna place the musketeer there that's gonna snipe the other thing behind it and then get onto the king tower which is gonna be lovely and perfect i'm gonna go ahead and split my skeleton dragons that will take care of the skeleton army and the other one will probably split into other, other lane maybe yep okay we're all good although they're probably both gonna go towards the left side tower aren't they Oh, nope, not anymore. And just kind of waiting this out. I'm going to go ahead and place the Magic Archer here. And place some Spear Goblins here. Just kind of defending everything. And everything more. I'm going to Fire Hacker that because that will take care of that in one hit, literally. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and balloon this. So, this deck is pretty simple. It's just literally 
whole bunch of splash mixed air ground troops. So it's pretty good. It's not too bad. I did put the Musketeer in here, which is a personal choice, but I haven't played with Musketeer in a long while, but it's definitely a capable troop. So that's why I put it in here. And I am just placing in a whole bunch of things. I could arrow that. That's not going to be a problem at all. Place another balloon here. And I'm going to Magic Archer here. He's going to Fireball. Any second now. Any second now. Or he misses it. I mean, that works too. But it looks like that is probably going to be a good game. So I'm going to go ahead and arrow that so those Spear Goblins don't do a anything. But that's another good game. So uh, good game. Well played. Good luck. And smiley face. So... It's pretty simple games today. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like I'm going very far with this. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose... Eh, why not choose the Goblin Cage? We don't have it yet. And I'm going to open up this silver chest. 131 gold, 2 ice golems, 16 ice spirits. And, always donate. And we're going to go ahead... Actually, we're going to upgrade our... Skeleton Giant to level 10 at a level 8 account, and we're almost to level 9. I kind of wanted to get to the next arena before then, but that's okay. So, there's that. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, there is this Elixir Marathon. If you guys want me to play this on this channel, just let me know down below. And if, I don't know, say two or three of you guys say that you want to see it, I'll do it. That's fine. I think I've done it once before on this channel. I just wanted to make sure you guys wanted to see it. So there you guys go. And I am going to go ahead and play this deck. So let's go ahead and get going. And good luck and smiley face. Looking pretty good. Apex Predator. Well, it looks like you're in the wrong game, sir. But, uh, <laughs> so this deck is a, a counter everything. Well, I should say, I should categorize it as Fisherman Everything Deck. <laughs> That's the literal category. So, I have the Fisherman in here, and when it locks onto literally anything, it is threatening. <laughs> so, the goal on this deck is literally to Fisherman hook anything, and then let the other troop take care of it. That's That's the whole purpose of this deck. And it looks like I'm playing another Expo deck, so it's pretty good. And I also have a giant skeleton, giant skeleton in here, excuse me, just in case if we need something extra. Um, there is a P.E.K.K.A., which I do have counters for it, but with his uh, other troops, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and Hunter right behind that. And that should take care of the most of it. I'm going to go place the mini P.E.K.K.A. there. That is going to be threatening, but I'm still pushing through. Ooh, the Hunter and the Mega Knight are going to take care of the most of that. That is going to be lovely. I'm just saying, lovely. And one hit, two hits, and three hits. That was very good. We almost took out half his tower, and I don't have any air defense right now. I just realized that. So, tip number one for myself. Make more air defense in this deck. Sorry for the, the, the poor accent. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that Dark Prince is actually going to get hits on the tower with splash damage. So that's actually pretty good. And yeah, the giant skeleton's going to blow up and blow up everything else. So that's going to be fine. So now I know I really should be saving my air defense for something specific here. He does have minion horde. Actually, he used it on the other side. Expected him to use it on the left hand or on the right hand side. Stop my push, but that's okay. And he's not doing anything again. That's lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And that, is that wizard gonna take out my tower? Not quite. That's fine. And I am going to go ahead and arrow that and see if we can finish off this tower real quick. I'm gonna balloon this. He doesn't really have much for it. I think he has minion horde again, but. Even if he does, that's going to be a tad too late. So, good game. Well played. 
good luck, and Smiley Face, that one was a little harder, but also, eh. But, we still finished that off pretty well. So, yeah. We are going to go ahead and unlock the crown chest. So, if you guys stick around this long, please consider giving us a like. And, and if you guys are new, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. And always, as always, hit the little bell. So, we have 1,087 uh, gold, 4 gems. We got 12 roll giant, 17 skeleton dragons, and a whole bunch of testa, and 12 dark goblins. So, we got that, and then we got 124 gold, 2 gems, 2 mortar, 19 tesla, and 38 barbarians, and 11 flying machine. Looks pretty good. So, with those 3 decks, those were all pretty good. This deck is still very overpowered, I got to say. But, um, if you guys are looking for a really, really good one, this is your deck. So, if you guys have liked the video so far, as always, like. And if you dislike the video, go ahead and hit the dislike, that's fine. But, as always, have a great day, and see you in the next video.